it's Luke Ducklow. Welcome back to my channel where we talk about faith, family, fitness, finance, and fun. Today we're talking about a little bit of finance. We're talking about baby step two of Financial Peace University's Dave Ramsey's plan. And it's the step that most people are in and it's also the hardest. So that's what my wife and I are in right now. And it's mentally really, really tough because there's several reasons. First of all, it's like you're paying for your past. You're not paying for anything that you're currently uh, working towards. You're not saving up money. You're not investing. You're not saving for the future or, or paying for vacations or anything really that fun. So that's really mentally tough. And I've even caught myself like beating myself up for my student loans and stuff that I feel like even though at the time I didn't really think about it now, Thinking about it, it's like, man, I should have done that a better way. It's easy to say now, right? Retrospect is twenty twenty, But try not to fall in that trap, as I've kind of fallen into that a little bit at times mentally, just getting irritated at myself for not doing things smarter. My wife and I still owe a lot of student loans, but it's our only debt that we have. We don't have any credit card payments. We don't have any car loans. We don't have any like personal loans, and that that's it but it's a big amount so that's what makes it tough that's why it's such a big deal when like people go on the Dave Ramsey show and they do their debt-free screen because it feels so good to get out of that and just to take everything that's been holding you back and getting it off you so I get it and it's a lot of hard work but anything that is worth doing in life usually is really hard work so that's where we're at some tips that I could give you to pay off debt faster. Cut unnecessary expenses. I know I'm not seeing anything groundbreaking here, but I still hear people at work or my friends or whatever still paying for like cable $150 or they've got a big car payment or they just go out to eat every meal. I'd say if you could just cut down on some of those things, it's just simple math. Because you're not spending as much, you have more in your bank account, then you can put it towards debt. No, it isn't fun. No, it isn't exciting. But neither are a lot of things that are good for you. And I want to be thanking myself five years from now for the decisions that I made today and not beating myself up. The step requires sacrifice for sure. And that's why it's hard as well. The th other thing is just having awareness about paying off debt and how much debt you have is a big part of it. Um, that's why doing your budget is so important because if you don't actually know and if you can't see, there's no visibility on how much you owe and how much you're paying and how much you're uh, getting charged in interest, you will have no clue on how long this is going to take to pay off. And you're not really going to have a plan to pay it off because you're just kind of going along life, uh, living paycheck to paycheck like everybody else, buying things on impulse and trying to look like you earn more money than you actually do. That's not what you want, just be real. I drive the worst car probably in my entire workplace and you know what, I don't care because I don't have a car payment and you know what, someday I'll get a nicer car but that time is not right now. Delayed gratification, that is another part of this. So I'll drive a 15 year old Honda with 207 miles 207,000 miles on it and be happy knowing hey I don't have a car payment uh, my wife and I are paying off a lot of debt right now and we're gonna be in a really good position in the near future just because of the sacrifices that we made now so stay motivated don't give up don't quit if you're just starting off FPU or if you're getting discouraged um, in baby step two I'm with you you can do it. This step is frustrating and it's hard and it's long, but hang in there. I'll see you guys in my next video.